Uh, hi guys, my name is Tywo Musuro. Um, I'm Metro Records. Obviously, I got my debut coming up as well, first of March. Um, my amateur records. I've had 21 fights, won 16. Uh, I think 16 wins, 14 losses, seven knockouts. Yeah, and I fight in uh, TM19 promotions in London. And my coach is Dutch, the Wise. I think I think he's the Wise. I can't remember his name. His first name is Dutch. Yeah, first name is Dutch. Yeah. Cool. Um, I just want to take you back a little bit, really. So, yeah. like, what what was it that got you into boxing? What it was an influence or something happened in your life to sort of kind of? <laughs> no, do you know what? Um, I'm not really proud to say this, but obviously, I started when I was in year nine, year ten. I used to get bullied a lot when I was in school, but not in terms of like where the mouth went from the physical bullying. So, in my opinion, I don't know. One day, I just came up and I just switched, and I was like, anyone that because I used to wear I wear glasses. And back then, you used to wear glasses with the ropes. You know when you wear glasses with the ropes? Yeah. So I said to myself, look, anyone that touches me again, I'm not having it. Because at the end of the day, I'm not having this, this sort of behavior around me. Because I got excluded from school, from fighting all the time and stuff. So all of a sudden, I like, when I, and I started to fight people back. Every time someone comes to me, just give it back to them. And all of a sudden, you know, that feeling grew into liking to fight and stuff. And, I wish I used to get in trouble a lot in school. So my, one of my friends took me to his dad's boxing gym and I did everything. Muay Thai, Taekwondo, uh, mixed martial arts, BJJ, um, you name it. And none of them were really my kind of favorite sports until I touched boxing. So from boxing, I was like, yeah, this is more my thing because I don't like this elbow, knees and stuff. That's not me. So from then onwards, I've just stuck to it. And every time I've, you know, felt like wanting to beat somebody up or whatever, I'll go to the gym. And then I started to develop a certain skill and then coach wanted to put me up for competition and stuff. And obviously we're young at this time, so I don't really know much about that. So I spoke to my parents about it and they said, no, I don't want my son fighting. I don't want my son doing this. But regardless, I still went back anyway and I went to train. And from then is where the love for boxing really started. So I've been boxing since 2009, 10 to 10 very long time and from then onwards um, the coach told me I was really good I should try to do some competition and stuff and from then onwards I did a white collar boxing and from there I said yeah the atmosphere was amazing crowds cheering your name the screen the lights all of that stuff I was like yeah I like, I like the scene of this and then I went to Peacock's boxing gym in Canada Town which is where I really started my amateur career I was with a coach called Tony Sisse mm. um, he still does his training, he's still there, and boxed him for a few times. Then, obviously, things didn't really work out as time went on. And then I moved on to um, Don Davis, which is in central London. Boxed with them for a while, did the Nationals with them, did the London Championship with them. Um, went to England for them as well. And from there, I was like, yeah, because obviously I'm 28 now. So because of age, I was like, I've got to turn over. They were even telling me to turn over because of the time window, because you know with boxing, you have, a lot, you have a time window, it's a gap thing. So I said, you yeah, know, I'll turn over on and where we are today, you know, 1st of March, looking forward to it. It's been cancelled twice. I've been to have one on 3rd of Feb, got cancelled the first time, then got moved to a kind of town where I actually started. And then they got, and two people, two or three people pulled out. And then from then on, they said, yeah, we've got to come to the show. But luckily I got a good promoter, moved me straight to a water out fight on the card, which is what I'm fighting on. And yeah man. Where did you grow up in, in London? I grew up in Woolwich. Actually I started in Thamesmead. Okay. SC eighteen. And then, no, SC twenty eight, sorry, Thamesmead, SC twenty eight. And then from Thamesmead I went to um, Woolwich, which is SC eighteen. From there I went to Plumstead. Those who are watching this probably know the areas I'm talking about, and from then on, was I'm from Credit. So oh, yeah, from Credit, yeah. <laughs> so if I've been in Woolwich all my life, that's where I grew up. Primary school, secondary school, sixth form, and from then on, I just moved to um, Kent, my partner, which I'm living with right now. Nice, nice. So in regards to your sort of debut, yeah. is it is it like nerves, like excitement? Like how, how, how do you feel about it now? Do you know what? From the third, I was more nervous for the third of Feb. I was more nervous than I am now because I know 
obviously things happen for a reason and now I'm just more, I just want to fight now because I feel like the debut has dragged for so long now, it's just about just getting in there and doing what you have to do pretty much because the longer you wait, the more you don't feel like it's important enough mm. and to me I don't, want any to, I don't want anything to mess this up so I just want a lot of my supporters to be there and just be cheering me on really. Nice. And what way do you think you'll be once you sort of kind of maybe settle into the pro ranks? What way do you think you'll sort of kind of end up? Or okay. So when I was in amateurs, I did. I was in cruiserweight the whole mm. amateur career, and because the pro weight class is different from amateurs, I thought that heavyweight is eighty six, but it's pretty much seventy nine to eighty one. So I've been told I have to drop to like heavyweight, which is what I'll be in for a while mm. until I settle into the pro pro scene and stuff like that, and then. Maybe if I need to do a title fight or a championship fight, I might just have to drop to, mm. you know, like middleweight. Super, super, is it super middleweight? Super middleweight. Yeah, right. super middleweight, yeah. But for now, I'm, I'm fighting that light heavyweight at the moment. So this year, so once you get your debut out, out of the way, like ideally, how many fights do you want to have this year before you sort of maybe go to those 50-50s? I've, I've, I've had a deal with my, my promo, I'll be fighting every month. Like in March, I've got two already. I've got two in yes, first March. You're on the shop one. Which yeah, and on, yeah. 22nd as well, and I've got one on the 30th of April. Uh, anyone after that is yet to be confirmed, but I'll be fighting That's almost good. every month. I'll be taking a month off after like four or five fights and then continue from there because obviously I want to get to the top as soon as possible. And I know it's easier said than done, but I know me. I know my fighting style. I know what I bring to the ring. And a lot of people have probably seen it before, but for me, I'm, I'm titanium for a reason, man. You have to come and find out to you know to know to know the kind of fighter that I am, in person. So, yeah, I don't want to say too much. I don't like saying too much. No, I like I prefer my action speaking and words. So, yeah. but right now I've been training for 12, 12 to sixteen weeks now since December. So ready I'm, to go. I'm pretty much ready at this point in year. Ready to go. Um, your t your titanium fitness. Yes. Tell me about that. I'm, I'm guessing your PT. You, you, no, yeah. <laughs> so that so when I was when I was um like I said when I was younger I used to I've been always been into fitness. Yeah. All my life really. I used to be even bigger than that. I used to be like a bodybuilding shape. Yeah. So um, I studied PT, got my level four qualification, and I started to train people. And my friends were the one that called me titanium because of ruthless. So that was my next question, where did that sort of like nickname sort of kind of come from? <laughs> yeah, my, my friends called me that. Um, his name's Alex, if you know, if you're watching, you know who you are. Uh, he's one that called me Titanium, then my friend Chris called me that. Then everyone started calling him Titanium, and then it, it rhymes with my name, because my name's Tywo, Titanium. So I said, it's only right. And I said, okay, I'll name it Titanium T. I'll just put T just to the keep the name because I don't want people to copyright to come to me and be like because there's other companies called titanium this titanium that so I said I'll put T in the middle just to give it one word so it's titanium T fitness and as I fell in love with boxing you can't really change your name on Instagram can you so I said I'll just turn it into a boxing page instead and I started training some friends then I started competing myself and then that I was getting more response than me training people so I said yeah okay I'll just leave it I'll just box it Mm. Instead of just putting too much stuff on there, so I just make this focusly, literally just focused on my boxing gear. That's it, mm. nothing else, nothing more than that. But yeah, that's where the name came from. My friends calling me Titanium T. That's why I was like, "You're crazy, what's that?" Yeah. But then I re then I googled it and I was like, "The strongest man in the world, like, one of the strongest men in the world." It's, it's a good nickname. I, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, you like it? Yeah, no, it is. It's um, yeah. uh, you know, or, or it's it's. A, it's You've got to be sort of kind of something a little bit out there, and I think it's it's, it's quite a good one. Obviously, you can, if you end up starting like knocking everyone out as well, then it's going to be a lot of ruthless. It's not about starting; it's about win. Yeah. Win. Trust me, I'm telling you guys, you have to come and watch. If you can't well, make I'll be it, there, you it, so. yeah, you're going to be there. But if you can't come on the first, make it on the twenty second. Trust me, make it on the twenty second because that's a bigger shot. Mm. It's a bigger arena. It's a bigger screen. It's much bigger than your call. Not saying your court, I got no badness for your court because I fought there when I was in amateurs as well. But I'm just excited, but I don't want to say too much. I'm just, I don't want to say too much. But yeah, no, I can see, see you excited. Well, um, like I said, we'll be there filming it. Um, looking forward to sort of seeing your yeah. um, debut as well. Hopefully, you'll be there as well for that. Um, anyone you want to give a shout out to or any, or any, any sponsors or anything? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the only, I've only got one at the moment. I mean, if you got, if you guys got any sponsorship looking forward, just give me a shout. My Instagram's right there. Just Titan MT Fitness, just one word. Um, I'm shouting out to VA Garments, man. These guys are amazing at what they do. They don't play around, always on time. They don't let me down in terms of making content for me, coming up with my gear, you know, design-wise. They're just absolutely fantastic with the work they do, and I can't really thank them enough for that. So that's the only shout I've got right now. So I can't really say too much. Shout out to my partner as well. She's the one that's behind the scenes, doing all the videos, all the recording and stuff like that. So. Yeah man, thank you for it as well. Um, also, I just want to shout out to my coach, Dutch. Um, just always on time as well, like I said. Everyone around me, my team right now, they're not letting me down one bit. They're just always on time with the you know, efforts, the effort, the time they're giving to me, you know, the um, effort they're putting in for me to make me have the debut. Um, give a shout out to John Edwards as well. Always making effort to find me sparring partners, you know, making ticket sales for me and stuff like that. So I just want to give everyone around me just a, uh, you know, one of the for the hard work and the hard work doesn't go unnoticed. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you very much to everyone man. I'll see you on the twenty second of March guys.